Hi there, good morning. Alan Combs here, Faster EFT Practitioner. Another video in a series I call Morning Coffee with Alan. Is that Tigger? Yes, it is. It's a nice big mug. I don't know where I got this. Um, but these are videos in a series that I call Morning Coffee with Alan. They're all about sharing my experience as a Faster EFT Practitioner in hopes of helping you along in your journey of healing as uh, I continue to learn and grow, learn from my experience of working on myself and my experience working on my clients. So today I, want to, I wanted to talk about the uh, Faster EFT belief system. And, uh, you know, I think the Faster EFT belief system is very, very uh, crucial when it comes to um, working either on yourself or, or with a practitioner. And the reason being is that, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very integral part in the process. If if I come at you from a, a model that says uh, something like, you know, um, if, if I believe that the cause of your problems is um, you're haunted by spirits, then I'm going to be coming at you from a completely different model than if I was coming at you from the faster EFT belief, belief system. So what is the faster EFT belief system? And I believe... Uh, the belief system is based is really just sort of black and white. It's based on kind of a universal truth, and uh, it's the same all over the world. And that belief system is when you were born, the stage was set before you. What does that mean? Well, you did not choose your parents, your their religion. You did not choose where you were going to live. You were born into an environment, and you immediately began developing skills for survival skills that allowed you to get fed, that allowed you to get nurturing and love. And you began forming beliefs based on these skills. And as you grow older, these skills become coping skills. And uh, as you move out into the world, these coping skills form your beliefs and ideas about life. And so you begin looking at life through those belief systems. Now that's all fine and good until those belief systems rub, ag rub up against other uh, things in reality and we have what we call problems. A problem is a problem if it feels bad inside or if you're trying to accomplish something and you just can't figure out why you're trying to accomplish it or you know, every time someone looks at you a certain way you get irate or you think all people in suit and ties are evil or whatever it is, you may be able to live with that uh, belief system for a while, but eventually it, it, it might cause a problem in your life uh, or it might boil over to the point where you're not able to function anymore uh, normally. And so this is the faster EFT belief system, you know. A gal that grew up in an incestuous family, um, when she went out into the world and realized that that's not how all families operated, all of a sudden it became a problem, a big time, a big issue, a big problem, right? So, uh, so, so why, do I, why do I bring this up? Well, I think it's very, very important to understand that, um, you know, when, when I'm approaching a client, I'm really coming at it from a very neutral point of view. Um, I understand that there are no judgments, there are no condemnations, you know. Anything that I um, hold as a judgment, I'm really just holding on myself. You know, and Faster EFT is really about moving from that sort of victimhood into taking responsibility. Uh, and, and that is so crucial. And one of the major points to understand is that when we feel something, you know, we, we feel, we say, oh, you know, that person, I hate that person. I don't like that person. Who's really feeling the hate? Who's really feeling that pain? And we think that by hating that person or holding that person as, you know, as vile in our hearts, that we're somehow justified in it, and and and, and it's gonna. I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna feel really crappy, you know, and and so once we begin to understand that, fast fifty really becomes about forgiving yourself. It becomes about releasing all judgments on yourself. And once we get to that point and we're able to forgive ourselves and forgive others, then we're able to really, I think, see the world through different eyes and 
we're no longer filtering things through an old broken belief system because as you know factor 15 does not believe you're broken we don't believe you're broken in any way shape or form you're just operating off of old broken ideas and beliefs and so when those beliefs cause problems in your life that's when you can go back and address them with faster of tea. Uh, so I hope that helps. Um, and uh, just remember, you know, keep keep tapping on yourself. No matter where you're at, no matter where you are in this journey, if you're applying faster of tea, I highly recommend that you just do it. You know, you just notice when you feel bad. And that's to me, that's ninety percent of the value of the ninety percent of the game of healing is beginning to recognize when you're feeling bad. Begin to re begin to make bring it into conscious awareness of when you're doing it to yourself because you know all those judgments all those bad feelings are really you know you can just think of yourself as whacking you upside the head with a stick every time you do that and so you've been doing it so for so long it can be going unconsciously and so really the battle is becoming consciously aware of when you're doing that and the the blessing of being consciously aware of it is then you can address it and you can simply address it by noticing it not pushing it back down not drinking it away or drugging it away but noticing it and releasing and letting it go doing something as simple as just tapping in the moment um, this alone is has is, is literally transformed my life and the way I see my life uh, and then of course if stuff's really hitting the fan you can see a practitioner that's why we're here and there's a, there's a growing number of us all over the world that work in person and via Skype so ooh, little fly anyway sorry it's like little fruit fly in here um, I'll just let it go very good <laughs> alright so anyway this is Alan Combe's morning coffee with Alan I hope that helps uh, as always keep tapping um, keep learning keep growing and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.